Okay, gonna look at um, uh, the second part of the exam paper. <clears throat> now, the previous one, lots of little questions. Obviously, the second part of the exam paper is uh, long questions. I'm only going to look at uh, one question, I think, here. And I, what I've done is I've split it up into various parts. Um, so it's a bit of follow on from question one, question two, uh, building up a, a particular problem. So um, you can try and tackle each little bit as we go along. That's the idea. So, yeah, so to recap, section A, try and have a go at all the questions. Section A is the important part. It uh, represents 75% of your exam, and uh, you want to spend about an hour and a half on it. And uh, if you want to, you can write on the exam paper, tackling um, section A, <clears throat> or use your exam booklet uh, to do rough notes, but it won't be marked. However, for Section B, you need to answer one question, so you get a choice of two, and there you want to be using your booklet uh, to um, write any formulae down, to put numbers down <coughs> that uh, you think should go into the formulae. All these things will be marked as well as if you get the final answer correct. Um, so for section B, the important thing to remember here is make sure that you write your solution in your answer book provided and um, make sure that you start by answering any particular questions given uh, the correct formulae that uh, you think are going to use, that you're going to use. And um, on the whole, because there's going to be some little bit of follow through questions you want to be working to about five sig fig and present final answers to a three sig fig right so that's uh, that's the pre-instructions and uh, we'll get on to question one <clears throat> 